Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to understand the idea of network externalities. You might have heard about the actual externalities or simply what we call as externalities, but the idea of network externalities is entirely different from the idea of simple externalities. So what can be the difference? Let's have a look into this in this particular session and let's get started for the same. We know that in neutral case we call externality a third party effects or somebody would be doing something and it would be having implications on the others and it could be positive or negative and for which you cannot compute any price or cost. You cannot attach any numerical value associated with that. That is simply externalities and you would definitely have positive and negative externalities in in this case of network externalities, the concept, idea and everything is completely different. Coming to the idea of network externalities. Network externalities involves the change in the demand for a product which depends on the demand of others who will be buying the same product. That means it shows the effect of demand or demand made by others made by others with respect to a product on demand made by a person that is in question again with respect to the same product. So what we could see is that the buying patterns of consumers are influenced by the buying patterns of others. I'll be purchasing a product and my purchase would be influenced by the purchase made by others. And this is what is called network, net, the idea of network externalities. As, as in the case of the simple externalities, here in the case of network externalities too, we do have positive network externality and negative network externality. Now what is the difference between the positive network externality and negative network externality? Let's have a look into that as well here. Moving to the positive network externalities case. This would be happening when one individual's demand increases. So the demand of a person with respect to a product or the demand for a product of a person. Demand for a product of a person in this case increases. Why? This is as a result of purchase by others or by other consumers. So when others purchase this commodity more and more, the person that we have in question would also be increasing his demand for the product and that is called as the positive network externality. Let me give you some examples to this. The famous example to this is fashions. What happens here? When, a, when more and more people adopt to a particular fashion or when they adopt a particular style, there would be demand, more and more demand for every other individual to go for that very same style. So each individual's demand for a particular dress would increase, a particular style of dress would increase when more and more people go for that. Each individual's demand for dress with print increases more and more people begin to wear that kind of a dress or dress with print. So this is something which we can uh, refer to the famous uh, different types of prints that we can have. Different types of pants that we have. We could see different types of pants uh, with different fashions different types of jeans with different fashions, different types of kutas with different fashions. So when more and more people 
wear that dress it it becomes more fashionable for every others to have it so there would be a demand for and uh, there would be an increased demand for that particular dress by everybody else what about another example let me give you something like a telephone this is a communication equipment the communication equipment like a telephone this would be more desirable to everybody why because there exists a large number of people who are using the phone and when large number of people uses use phone you can talk with so many people and this positive negative externalities is known in the name of bad wagon effect now having told about positive network externality let me take you to the negative ex network externality so this is exactly the opposite case completely and exactly the opposite here what happens is that the quantity demanded by one person quantity demanded would fall why this happens as a result of purchase by others so here what happens is that when more and more people go for the purchase of this particular good the quantity demanded by a person with respect to that good would come down why this is because mostly individual would prefer to be different from others so when more people purchase that particular good or service this will compel the other people to reduce its consumption let me give you an example here designer clothing what happens in the case of designer clothing you might uh, have noticed this in the case of actors film stars celebrities when more people go for a particular pattern or particular style of dress the celebrities will try to stay away from that and they try to go for some novel type of dress they want to stay as unique everywhere so as some people would not want to wear the same clothes that many other people are wearing so the celebrities would be going for their own way of designing dress they will give some uh, ideas to the designers and they whenever they go for a party or something they as per their ideas the designers would be providing them customized service and the dress that they would be wearing in the party or in some function would be something very much novel and unique it would be completely different from what others would be wearing so they want to stay as different from others again give you to give you much more with respect to a negative network externality let me give you one more example to this as more and more people use road what happens we can see congestion in road road would get congested with more and more vehicles so here it would become less valuable it is to each driver so mostly people would say okay why should i go for my private vehicle because road has become so congested so many vehicles are there on roads let's prefer public transport again this is very rare mostly people would be going for their private vehicles only they have money in that too is a very important thing to consider but just to give you an example in this context road congestion is also something that lead to uh, that is an example to negative network externality again uh, as in the case of positive network externality which is not in the case of bandwagon effect in the case of negative network externality too you do have a name to uh, refer to and here it is known as knob effect okay so that's all about the idea of network externality is difference between positive network externality and negative network externality i hope you could understand the difference between the usual externality the usual simple externality and the 
net uh, usual uh, simple externality and the network externality concept also you you might have understood with examples the idea of network externalities of different types and thank you for watching i request you to like share and subscribe to this channel for more videos you can also join our free telegram community by clicking on to the link given in the description box also you can be a part of our team by joining our learn economia app again you can download it by using the link given in the description box that's it thank you for watching